Hi, Shitesh this side and welcome to your channel Kaizen. Today I am going to talk about the seven cardiovascular health metrics laid down by a non-profit organization in the US known as the American Heart Association. According to their survey, a majority of people worldwide do not meet these seven cardiovascular health metrics. Of course, for people like me. So be honest to yourself and evaluate yourself. and see how many of these seven metrics you meet and what you have to improve about yourself to take good care of that heart of yours number 1 not smoking smoking increases the risk of a variety of chronic diseases such as myocardial infarction atherosclerosis chronic bronchitis emphysema bronchial carcinoma and the list goes on and on as a wise man once said there's nothing better than smoking a pack of cigarettes a day to clog those arteries away So no smoking. If you do not smoke, you meet the first metric. Well and good. And if you do smoke, please continue. You might not see the effects right now, but in 10 to 20 years or maybe just 5 years you will seek medical help and it's good for the earnings of doctors like me. Second, being physically active. The motto is to sweat once a day. If you match this metric, then my friend You are on the highway to a healthy life. Yeah. But if you are just too lazy or too busy with your work and cannot take good care of the body of yours, then get ready to increase your risk of disorders and diseases related to several forms of cancers, diabetes, hypertension, cerebrovascular diseases, cardiovascular diseases, increased mortality rate and decreased life expectancy, obesity and increased medical costs. What, what what did you say all of these can be prevented by exercising regularly yes science bitch third having a normal blood pressure high blood pressure or hypertension doubles the risk of all types of heart diseases one main cause is high salt intake your salt intake should not exceed 1 teaspoon per day 1 teaspoon of salt has 2300 mg of sodium in it So decrease your sodium intake and decrease your blood pressure. Just sprinkle the salt on your food. Don't just pour the whole of the cup in it. Fourth, having a normal blood glucose level. Blood glucose level is the amount of glucose flowing through the blood that circulating in your body. Hyperglycemia or increased blood glucose level causes many of the long-term diseases such as heart diseases, eye, kidney and nerve damage. The most common cause of hyperglycemia is diabetes due to obesity. If blood sugar levels or glucose levels too too low, a condition known as hypoglycemia develops. The most common symptom being loss of consciousness and weakness. Most common cause of hypoglycemia is irregular meal timings. So to prevent hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia, eat frequently and eat right. Fifth, having normal total cholesterol. Dyslipidemia is the abnormal amount of lipids or fats or cholesterol in the blood. Most often there is hyperlipidemia or hypercholesterolemia, which means elevation of cholesterol or fats or lipids in the blood. This again depends upon the lifestyle and diet of the person. High cholesterol increases the risk of myocardial infarction or heart attack due to atherosclerosis that is clogging of the arteries. A diet high in polyunsaturated fatty acids and omega fatty acids decreases the risk of heart attack and other cardiovascular diseases whereas a diet rich in saturated fats and increase in total number of calories from carbohydrate fats proteins alcohol sweets have adverse effects on the heart health. 6 is being at your ideal weight ideal weight varies from person to person it basically depends upon the age sex and height of the person you can calculate your ideal weight online by using any of the biometric calculators being in that range of the ideal weight prevents obesity and diabetes related diseases seventh metric eating a healthy diet If you match any of the previous 5 metrics then you match this one also. So eat a healthy diet to live a healthy life. 
Now, according to American Heart Association, the select population which met at least six or more of these health metrics had number one, fifty-one percent lower all-cause mortality, meaning people like me have fifty-one percent more chance of survival through any of the chronic disease. Second, seventy percent lower risk of cardiovascular disease mortality versus the people, of course, who only met. two or fewer of the health metrics man i'm going to outlive all of you people out there so work on these seven health metrics to live a healthy abundant successful and rich life and let me know which you match and which you do not in the comment section below and share it with some people who you think will be helpful to don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button remember that all the world's strength and power is within you this is my design